everybody, it's Steph Davis here from flipthiswholesaler.net and I am back with another reader mail video for you guys. Uh, my question this evening comes from Lisa and Lisa writes, Hi Steph, I'm a newbie wholesaler from Philadelphia, PA and I came across your blog in January of this year. Since then, I've read everything I could get my hands on about wholesaling and I've also started marketing for motivated sellers on Craigslist as well as putting out a bunch of We Buy Houses bandit signs. The responses that I've gotten from my advertising haven't been that great and I'm starting to get frustrated. Do you have any words of wisdom for this newbie wholesaler who is on the verge of giving up? Thanks so much, Lisa. All right, well, um, Lisa, yes, I do have some advice for you. Uh, before I get into that, I just want to uh, congratulate you um, or give you a pat on the back for actually getting out there and taking action. Uh, you said you just found my site. You just learned about wholesaling in January of this year, um, and you're already out there marketing for motivated sellers, putting bandit signs out there, putting ads on Craigslist. Um, I think that's fantastic. I know a lot of people, including myself, um, when they learn about wholesaling um, or any niche in real estate for that matter, um, a lot of us have the tendency to learn and learn and learn and learn and learn and learn and never take any action. So I think it's great that you're out there already, um, you know, kind of getting your hands dirty, talking to motivated sellers. Um, so I uh, just wanted to point that out and say, great job doing that. Um, the second thing, um, some advice for you, and this is um, for anyone else out there who's watching this who is just getting started wholesaling, trying to get their first deal done. Um, I just want to make sure that you guys keep in mind that there is a learning curve involved when you are wholesaling real estate. Um, you know, particularly if you have absolutely no knowledge of real estate whatsoever, if you don't know your market at all, if you don't have any buyers lined up and you're just starting this build, uh, business from scratch, there is a learning curve that you have to work through. And I know a lot of um, gurus kind of gloss that fact over and, and kind of make it look like you just, uh, you know, buy a course and then next month you're going to be making 10 bazillion dollars and sitting on a beach in Costa Rica doing deals in your underwear. Um, but in real life, that is not the case. Um, and I know that it can get frustrating, especially when you're just starting out and you're out there, um, you know, making offers or marketing, um, you know, marketing for motivated sellers like Lisa is, and you're doing all this work and you just can't seem to get a deal under contract and close. I know how frustrating that can be. Um, but you just have to keep in mind and you have to remember that it's all part of the learning process and that every single wholesaler, every single successful wholesaler has been in that exact same position at one time. Um, I remember when I was just getting started um, making offers on REOs and I was making offer after offer after offer after offer, uh, they were all getting rejected. And I just made a commitment to myself. And I just said, I don't give a crap what happens. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to keep making offers. I don't care how long it takes me, but I'm going to keep making offers on REOs until I finally get a deal under contract and wholesaled. Um, and it ended up taking me, I think it was like three or four months. Um, it was 126 offers, I believe. Um, before I finally got my first REO deal under contract. So I, you know, it took 125 no's before I finally got that yes. Uh, once I got that yes, it was kind of like the floodgates open, um, you know, after I got that first deal and I just kind of started knocking them out after that. Um, but, you know, it really takes patience and persistence and, um, you know, you just have to have that willingness just to keep going. Um, you know, of course, you have to adjust your strategy. You don't want to, you know, be banging your head against the wall trying something that just doesn't work. Um, but at the same time, um, you know, you can't just make a couple of offers or spend a week or two uh, marketing and then decide that you're going to give up. Um, it takes time. Again, like I said, there is a learning curve involved uh, when you're wholesaling real estate. So, uh, Lisa, my advice to you is to just keep on trucking. Uh, you know, you're on the right path. 
keep doing um, you know what you've been doing marketing for motivated sellers keep taking action every day and try not to get discouraged that you haven't you know closed a deal yet like I said it might take you some time especially if you're just getting started from scratch and that goes for everyone else out there who is watching if you're just getting started um, you know maybe feeling a little frustrated that you haven't closed a deal yet try not to get discouraged okay it's part of the learning process it's part of the learning curve um, just make a commitment to yourself that you're gonna keep going and keep taking action every single day even if it's a tiny little bit of action until you get that first deal closed all right uh, I hope this helps a little bit Lisa um, if anyone else has any anything they'd like to add to what I've said or if anyone has any questions that they like to ask feel free to leave a comment below and I'll be happy to answer for you so I'll see you guys next time have a great weekend take care bye bye